we're specifying uh, an alternate economy. We're specifying a mirror image economy. And with that, we have the dollar on this side, and we're building this hypothetical currency, we'll call it the RALAD, which is the dollar spelled backwards. Okay, now the dollar represents debt, which means when I sign a, a loan, um, I'm promising future productivity to pay off that debt. Well, when I'm creating innovation, I'm investing in the current, and I'm promising future increases in productivity to pay for that. So we see that innovation and debt are mere images of each other. They're the same thing. They're both backed by future productivity. You see what I mean? So the only difference, it's, it's just a social agreement okay, between the two. Well, do I put, is, is my money represented by future productivity? Well, everybody can agree to that because we're already in that system. Whether it's represented by debt or innovation is, is almost immaterial. But suppose you had a, a, a currency which did accommodate that you could call a future productivity based on innovation. It's very similar to the dollar. And it's something, it's a philosophical chasm that's not very difficult to cross. And if you put something, an instrument like that out in the market, the people will not have a very difficult time converting between the two. And if that can occur, then you've got a currency that can now uh, move us forward.